Well, happy National Signing Day 2018 for BSU football. Well, it's a great day to be a Beaver. Big class will enter next fall ready to grind the ax and take the program to the next level. A lot of times conference championships aren't won with your ones. It's your twos and your threes and maybe even a fourth that has to come up. Um, and all of a sudden, you know, you, you got to have depth. And that's what the 2018 recruiting class brings. A total 32 student athletes committed to wear the green and white. And one area you'll notice first on the list, the big guys in the trenches. I think ever since I've taken the program over, it ends and starts with the O-line and D-line. And we were fortunate early in the process to get those guys on board. Um, it's weird to think that, you know, we run a spread tempo offense and all that sort of stuff. But to be honest with you, we're not going to be good and you're not going to win consistently in this league without being able to be physically match up. So to do that offensively, they added a group of four linemen that they're pretty excited about. From the very beginning that we got the most commitments early was the offensive line. Uh, I love this group of guys. Uh, they're smart, they're physical, they're big. Uh, we got four extremely good ones. Brandon Frankfurth from Anoka, he'll be our center. Uh, 6'2", 290 pound kid. Uh, reminds me of Jesse Hine for the guys that uh, are out there. Just a big, solid physical player. The biggest group of the class, the D-line with eight commits total, including stealing one from a rival's backyard, Proctor All-Stater Caleb Stevens. I think Caleb reminds me a lot of Zach Stafford for some of the people. He was a uh, you know, All-American defensive lineman for us. High motor, great kid, just a hard, hard working young man. And I, I thought we stole him out of Duluth's backyard, so that was a, a big bonus. Additionally, in the front seven BS, you must replace Tristan Ross and Nico Daniello. So they went to work. We graduated five and really, really good group of dudes. So we thought that we'd get back on board and get these guys locked back in. Local flavor was Spencer Weir from Cloquet. They obviously had a great uh, uh, season this year with the state championship. Uh, Ricky Thompson from Glenbard North High School in North Suburbs of Chicago. Uh, was another young man that we project as a rush guy. But Ricky's got a little shake. He's a good pass rusher. He'll be our, our next edge threat. They also look for more playmakers on offense and think they got a good one. And the 6'4 tight end from DeForest, Wisconsin. Bryce Duffy. I was worried for the longest time. Like when uh, I was extremely relieved when his NLI came through. I just waiting for a Division One through school to come back. He's gifted. Uh, he can run. He can catch. Um, he'll be on the field. I, I think uh, early in his career. Overall, though, Bolte and the Beavers are excited about where this class can take them. I wish I could fast forward, yeah, three or four years from now and 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 see if they're hoisting some 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 hardware and our goal is to get the the national playoffs and I can uh, shy away from the, that and that's what we're trying to do and I think this this group of guys can help us move towards that. So 15 of the 32 from the state of Minnesota, as you can see, a big emphasis in the trenches, both sides of the ball. Also wide receiver and tight end. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.